Hey guys, Gaff here again. This time I'm going to be showing you the selection process within MC Edit. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to do at first, but once you see it done, it's probably going to be one of those like, oh, duh, this is easy kind of things. So as you can see here, uh, as I'm moving through free space, you can see that little white uh, outline of a cube that's being selected in front of me. So uh, let's find something on the ground and then I will be able to show you that easier. As you can see, this program is also a little bit uh, resource intensive, more so than say Minecraft. So uh, you might have to have a more powerful computer than my crappy little laptop here to run it correctly. But you can select blocks here by uh, moving around and uh, let's say the block you want is right there. You can just click uh, once and that'll sort of show you like okay there's the block you're about to select and then if you click again it'll actually select it and then it'll ask you to select the next block you want to but let's deselect that for a sec let's say you didn't want to select that and you kind of want the block that's in back of that one you can use the scroll wheel to move that backwards or forwards so let's say I want to select that one or um, just by using the scroll key you can go forwards and backwards in depth. So let's say I want to select that and uh, then I want to select something eh, not quite there, not quite there, but there. So I'll double click there or single click there and that's my selection. So you have the two corners, the blue corner and the yellow corner. And I can do all sorts of things there. I can press delete and it would delete them. I, I'll uh, show you a lot of the other options you have later on. But let's see here, um, if you look at the bottom of my screen, you can see the two nudge keys. Now you have the blue nudge key and the yellow nudge key. By deselecting this view, by right clicking, you have free use of your mouse again. And if you click and hold on the nudge key, you can move around that block. So let's say I use the W, A, or S, D keys. If I press A, it'll move over there, D, it'll move back, uh, W, move forward, S, move back, Q, up, Z, key, down. Uh, this is the same for the um, yellow block here as well, W, A, S, D, all that stuff. But it is context uh, relevant. So if I'm looking this way, it's going to mean uh, the W key will move it that way, A, S, uh, D, that sort of thing. Uh, but if I'm looking at it from, let's say, this angle, it can be a little tricky where W might mean something else. Let me see if I can get this a little better. Uh, so pressing W there will move it in that direction, not that direction. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, so once you're done with this selection, let's say I didn't want to do it at all, you just double click on there and it would deselect it. And there you have it, a rather quick explanation of how to do that. I'll show you the other things that you can do once you do have a selection in later videos. So be sure to keep watching if you're interested.